everyone, so in this video I'm going to review my Stan Arts uh, Boris Karloff 1931 Frankenstein Life Size Boss that I uh, got from my collection more than a year ago and I got it on painted actually and uh, because I wanted to paint it myself and I actually did it like a week after I reviewed it in the channel I uh, painted myself and it was a really fun project and I did it black and white and then um, I was even supposed to make a video uh, for it here so you guys can see but I never actually did that video until uh, a few months ago I was actually uh, thought about like asking a painter or someone to repaint the bust uh, for me and uh, until a week ago, more than a week ago when I picked up my The Thing bust from Gary J. Tonic Boy if he painted that one for me, I asked him if he can uh, repaint my Frankenstein and he says yeah you can do it and I got very excited so I gave it the day that I picked up my uh, The Thing bust and actually I couldn't wait and then I picked it up uh, a few days ago and it came out absolutely amazing. I actually repainted, I actually painted mine black and white, but he uh, recommended me colors and then I totally agreed and he really killed it. The boss is next to me right now and I'm just gonna bring it closer even though I'm gonna go closer with my backdrop so you guys can see it better. But here's the Frankenstein and look how awesome everything looks, the paint job. He really did a great job with the base. You can see all black and the title right there. And the likeness of this boss, uh, it's really awesome. Even Gary says the sculpt is really cool. And I, in my opinion, is one of the best uh, Frankenstein boss uh, out there. And custom boss. And I'm going to put it right here. And But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. He did a great job with that great <coughs> the green tone in the face. Just like how Frankenstein looked. Even though the movie was black and white, we couldn't really see it. Uh, but yeah, he did a fantastic job. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put my backdrop and go closer like always so we can see all the details. So let's get started. I got here's the Frankenstein for my backdrop and I absolutely love how this one came out. I received this post actually a few days ago and I couldn't wait to make this video and share it with you all. Um, and in my opinion, it came out great and I'm really glad that I asked Gary. It was his last week in US. So basically I, I asked him last moment and uh, I'm really glad, got happy that he actually uh, said he can uh, repaint this for me and it came out absolutely awesome. Um, and uh, he actually recommended me to call, do it colors because I painted this uh, ray, uh, black and white. So he said like the color is gonna complement it more and I totally agreed. So you can see the base. Actually, I was asking him if, I asked him like what color do you recommend for the base and he actually already painted it in black which I got surprised and I actually really liked it actually it looks pretty good. I remember I, I couldn't decide what color I should do for the base uh, when I was painting mine. Let me paint this like a year ago. Uh, I remember I was thinking to do a, like a wood color like a uh, brown uh, and then my second option was uh, gray because the base because the boss was black and white so I don't think the brown would have gone well with that. Um, so I was thinking I'll do a uh, gray, but then I was like, no, it's actually pretty good. Like the black looks perfect and I love the title. As you can see how it is like a old metal uh, color. You can see how old it looks, the way he did it, that yellowish thing. So that's Burge Corlaw, Frankenstein, 1931. Right, one of my favorite Universal Monsters, I would say first or second. Uh, but yeah, it came out really good. Love the coat. I actually did mine like black too. Um, see the shinier, the shirt part, and then it's more rougher on the, the coat. And I love the face, the colors. It's really awesome on this boss. Um, came out great. The hair part is one of my favorite, uh, one of my, it's the favorite part I would say, but I'm, what I want to say is like, it was the hardest when I was painting it. Uh, you know, this, uh, all these lines right there, I remember it was really hard, but then I tried it like two, three times and it came out, I would say good, okay, but not perfect. So that's the part that I really wanted to fix. And this cut right there, it's in black. I mean, sorry, uh, it's in red. The detail on this bus is awesome. Uh, Stan Arthur did a great job with this. One of my favorite Frankenstein that I've seen 
the custom ones and i remember i really wanted this yeah i really love the face and you can see the wetness in the eye even though i'm gonna bring the light a little bit down but now it's kind of harder to see uh above the eyes even the shadowing all this around it it's pretty cool um the top of the head as you can see this part there's a red rounded I never get tired of watching the Frankenstein, especially I would say Bride of Frankenstein is my uh, number one favorite out of the two, uh, which I was watching a few days ago. And I really love that film. Which uh, pretty soon I'll need a Bride bust which I feel like it's going to look great next to this. This is not from the Bride of Frankenstein. This is the very first Frankenstein bus because in the Bride of uh, Frankenstein, because he went to the fire, he didn't have his hair all cut it. Um, so... Because now you can see the eyes. Let me see if I can show you all. Uh, Basically, his eyes shouldn't look show so much, so you guys can see it's uh, right there in the corners. So it's pretty cool. The eye part was kind of hard too for me when I was doing it, but at the end I did it. But that one also wanted to be. Let's check out the side, which I really love this side. It looks 100% accurate. It's my uh, favorite. And you can see this cut right there, which is absolutely awesome. See, when it comes in colors, you guys can see all the blood things and everything like in more like a true and more accurate. Uh, when it's black and white, you all you see is basically black and white. So it's not nothing like this thing. It's basically all like uh, black. Uh, but like this, it's pretty awesome, I love. And they also added some red on the thing on the neck. This eyes is so awesome, all this, you can see with this the lines, the hair, he did a great job. Now the other side, uh, I personally love both, but the other side was my favorite. And you can see, I love that part, it came out really cool. The hair. And here's the back. Uh, you guys can see. Here's the head. And down here. Uh, painted by uh, Gary J. Tonicliffe. You can see his signature and actually really wanted him to sign this and I'm actually glad. And um, this is my, my third piece from him. Uh, two pieces that he just uh, painted. This one and the thing, split face, uh, life size bust. And actually I uh, got his awesome uh, chatter from the Hellraiser Inferno. He made that film and I got the movie model Chatterer at Son of Monster Plus last year and I absolutely love that piece. Very special and cool. So yeah, I'm really glad that I have three pieces from him, two painted, uh, not sculpted by him, but painted, but another Chatterer that he actually sculpted and painted, which I love all three and they're never going to live my collection. Because that's all about my Frankenstein custom boss that is sculpted by Stan Arts and painted by Gary J. Tonicliffe and they both did a great job. It's uh, one of my favorite Frankenstein boss that I've seen and now with the Gary's paint, I actually love it for my collection 
and I actually display it next to my Dracula bust where they look, it looks awesome. And I'm actually curious what you guys think about this bust, uh, the likeness, everything, the paint job. Um, it's actually good that I actually experienced this bust in black and white, which I painted a year ago, but then I felt like I didn't love it. So I asked Gary to paint it, which I'm glad. So now I love it even more. And I'm actually curious what you guys think. And also let me know your favorite Frankenstein film. Uh, for me, it's The Bride, for sure. Bride of Frankenstein. And then I would say the 1931. Even though I love the 1931, I actually watched it at least a few times. And um, it's a 9 out of 10 for me, that film. But something about The Bride, I actually like it a little bit more. So I'm actually curious what you guys think. And also feel free to like and subscribe for more unboxing and review videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.